Welcome back. Week 8 to week 10 was pretty fruitful. Week 7, okay. But week 11 is where it's at. We're past our bye week. Marvin Jones Jr., we have an injury decision to make. So Marvin Jones is fairly, our, easily our second best receiver. Um, he's been out for a few weeks. And what we have here is we could put Bolden in or we could take a chance. Um, normally, in this situation, because we always see high chance of re-injury, I'm like, you know what, not worth it. Especially going to the playoffs, right? And because we're going into a play the moments game where I will not be able to control that, we're going to start Bolden. We're going to make sure Marvin Jones is healthy. I think we'll be able to get to the playoffs without Marvin Jones. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. It has before, so... Um, let's move over. The upcoming schedule will be the Jaguars, the Vikings, the Saints, and then the Bears are when uh, Marvin is scheduled to be back. Guys, we're almost through it. Um, I'm going to hope, what I'm going to do here is we're probably going to play Jaguars, Vikings, Saints today, uh, and then get on with moving into uh, the next grouping. So, let us go here. Let's see here. Do our weekly training real quick. Uh, we're going to do cover three. Let's see what the tendencies are. Jaguar tendencies are divine and power. I kind of want to make sure that I can run my cover two that I've been running the entire year. Um, attacking for three. Yeah, we do want to attack the cover three on that. So let's start the training. We're going to sim the gold we already have. Because what's going on? It looks like Walking Dead tonight after a pretty big episode last week. Oh, M. Frisk in the house. What's going on, M. Welcome to the stream, my man. Let's see, can I get? Can I hear everyone? Hear the? There we go. Big journey in mutt. Still going on. Oh, by the way, is I don't play a lot of mutt, but all I'm hearing about this most feared is just phenomenal. Like, people say it's the one of the best right, since, I saw on Twitter, one of the best since 2013 for Madden Ultimate Team, so kind of hyped about that. I'm Seeing some, I, I see a lot of people ready? pulling uh, Randy Moss this Let's weekend, Legend Randy show. Moss, and We're Michael Strahan, so kind of cool. Uh, if you're a mutt guy, man, you, you guys are in for some of the golden age this week, apparently. And we're going to skip through the tutorial because we already know how to beat the cover three, hopefully. Um, you can see Orlovsky still the quarterback. We still have a little way to go with uh, a little way to go before we have to get Stafford back. Guys, again, we are on default all Madden with fatigue at 60. We did have to knock it down after some of the false starting last week that we saw in, uh, later in the uh, game. We are also at every penalty is set to 51. So you're going to see a few more block in the backs and not as many holdings, but they even out. That's why we do that. Nope. Unfortunately, I without the ability to hot route in this, it's tough to run. I mean, if you're only going to give me two routes that go into where I need them to go. Let's see here. There we go. Golden Tate picking me up. Nope. Golden Tate dropping the ball. We need to get a bronze on this, boys. We need to get a bronze. All right. We might have Y here. Yep. There we go. That's what we need. Those Verge plays. Give me them Verge plays every time. Might have Tate on the outside, although the... Yep. Y. There we go. Oh, you got to hold on to that for me, bro. All right, got the bronze. Sim the gold. We'll get into this next game. We have high aspirations as a team. Uh, I game on a games G A E M S uh, screen. It is like it's a, one of the 19-inch portable monitors because I travel with my Xbox now a lot during the, during the week. Oh, wow. Aheg saying his brother got an 87 Moss, which goes for 300k. Uh, I am looking at chat, Scob. I'm ignoring you for the fact that you're saying my stream, my stream schedule is 
whatever it is. Uh, unfortunately, that is the way it is, so it's not my fault your penguins suck. Uh, let's look at who we have to negotiate with real quick. We did put an offer in for Riley Reed. I, or Riley Reef, I think we're going to have to end up signing him. Um, I don't really want to. I don't want to take that five million hit. I definitely don't want to give him more than five years, but with his run blocking the way it is, and I have a Buccaneers franchise that is not on stream that is now in San Antonio with the San Antonio Dreadnoughts. What's up with that? So beautiful. The jerseys are awesome. Um, I'll show them off my Twitter at some point this week, but... I have a feeling we're gonna have to give it, we're gonna have to give in. Um, there are no really really good linemen. So, uh, Danzy, I am a network admin at a government facility. So, unfortunately. Um, so, offer submitted. Doesn't like the salary. Okay, no problem. Um, Andre Roberts, we are not interested. Uh, maybe at the right price, but not right now. Armani Bryant with 60 fatigue, we will see that cycling through. So 2.2 million, I, I'm, uh, he wants three years. I'll give him two and try to go 2.5 here. Let's see if he'll take that. Pour across the board, I mean, that's good for you. We don't need Clay Harbor back. Um, Corey Fuller, we do want back at 26. So, at a $2.53 million cap hit, I'm okay with that. Guys, what's going on? It's not NSA. Uh, Don Carey, but let's, that's about where, it, that's as far as we're going to go with it. So, um, let's see, Aaron Dobson. I like Aaron Dobson a lot. He's been very helpful in 6'3", 205. He could be a very... Let's see what he's got here. If he's got any good skills, I, I'm, I'm more important to these skills right here. Possession catch, I like that a lot, um, especially for the fact that we do a lot of short passing. He does drop passes, though. Ugh. Let's see. If, if we can get that drop pass trade out of there, we will absolutely keep him. Uh, Kerry Hyder, 70 overall. We had a lot of younger guys. Let's see here. We're going to come back to this. We don't, we're not going to keep Lucas. We're not going to keep Bostic, even though it, well, we might keep Bostic at 25. So, all right. So let's get into this game. Again, it's a play of the moments because it's not in the division. All right. Uh, football. When you're when I'm talking about penalties at 51, you can set you can set penalties by one in franchise mode. So I have them at just 50 in the main menu, or I'm sorry, I'm 55 in the main menu, and then I go down to 51. Yeah, M. M Dot's like, this is real life, Jags. I don't need to work on my defense. Well, guess what? <laughs> Unfortunately, and as you know. Uh, as you know, all oh, Madden, you gotta work on defense all the time. I need to shave, boys. You liking the scruff? Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. AJ, have fun at church, dude. This is as far as I can go. The the Lions are top 10 in yeah, unfortunately, so stream schedule-wise, I mean, during the week, we didn't get a chance to this week. Actually, we streamed on Monday. So, we streamed on Monday, we kind of hit, we're hit and miss when we go, we were going to stream yesterday, but unfortunately, servers went down on us, uh, I was going to stream some Shell, which is offline, but we were going to play some Battlefield, and that was down, so unfortunately. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, football. Someone told me I needed to keep the scruff, and I said, okay. Alright, we want to get our games in. Let's skip through this. Um, normally I like to watch these. We're going to fast through these. Big third down stop. Uh, the sugar cookie flavored Pringles. Um, funny you mention that. We're at Walmart. There were other, not nothing else crazy, but they were at Walmart. It was insane. Lurking. 
No! There we go. I like that. It happens. It happens. At 51, you will see those. So, yeah, I just found them yesterday. I'm not... <laughs> Um, the chip itself is kind of bland, but it was, it was like, uh, I don't know, it was kind of a nice flavoring on top of it. Alright, first and ten, we're gonna go Tampa 2 here. Uh, Bortles, we're gonna, we're gonna try to go hard flat here. I have noticed a lot of people saying, oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? trying to strip that I've seen a lot of people saying that and you're gonna see this in the full game today um, a, a lot of people have been starting to say that the QB accuracy is too high and that the percentage is too high I can't speak on the QB accuracy as I've seen some throwaways or not throwaways some missed throws but when it comes to percentage wise you have to force the quarterback to throw deep. Like right now, I'm, I'm on press coverage. I think the quarterback plays more press coverage, or the CPU pre plays more press coverage than users do. And the CPU takes advantage of that. They throw the flats a lot. So if you've got cover three and cover two, and even cover four to an extent, try using the coverage, the Y button or the triangle on PlayStation 4 and down on the right stick. Try changing those to hard flats and tell me what happens. Uh, now, you're not going to be able to do this against, like, Brady or Rodgers, but, like, against a quarterback... Who was I facing last night? I was facing uh, Colin Kaepernick, and I was able to make him a 50% quarterback due to hard flat stuff. There we go! Big sack, Devin Taylor! There is no such thing as a bad Oreo. By the way, no such thing. So on fourth down, they just don't make bad. Whoa. From the right hash, it's a 35 yard Man, attempt. Man, you know what the best thing is? The best thing is when you go searching for somebody's YouTube and they've changed the design and you realize they did and you completely forgot about it and then you see how awesome it looks and then you post it in chat like that. You post it in chat after seeing the redesign about how cool it looks. MDOT's got himself a Titanfall 2 single player campaign. Dude, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna buy, I think Target 2 for 3. I think I'm gonna get Titanfall, and I gotta find two other games. I gotta find two other games, boys. Alright, so we're in, we're in a gun here in third and six. Yeah, a little weak flood action. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third. Yeah, Penguin, I absolutely agree with that. We're going to go Tate straight here. Um, and we're going to keep Riddick in. All right. Another thing that I've noticed on all Madden is if you bullet pass every time, you will not succeed. Um, you got to do kind of like a touch pass. If you go, if you want to lead a guy on like a drag like that, so. All right, second and six. We're gonna go quick base here. Apparently, yeah, M dot. That's what I'm hearing. Titanfall two. So I gotta find two other games to buy, at some point. Um, at Target, I think. Also. Don't use turbo when you're running the ball and all Madden. Unless, unless you're out in the wide open yonder by yourself, don't use turbo. You will not succeed. Found that the hard way. Doug Martin now is a top uh, five running back for me, yardage-wise, in my Buccaneers franchise in year two because I finally figured that out. What? Amuka Mara with a huge pick over Golden Tate. So red zone 
Yeah, M dot M dot's uh, YouTube Super Mega Baseball franchise actually has me playing Super Mega Baseball again. I started an 80 ego because I'm not that 99 ego is crazy. Oh, Chris Ivory is just savage. Yeah, if you turbo off of. You know what I started doing? And this is going to sound absolutely insane because you need your right hand. Um, go into practice mode, hike the ball, and take your. Just hike the ball with your right thumb and then take your hand off. Seriously. Scott, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. You have a problem with them using Griffey? You're insane. Now you're just trolling. By the way, MLB The Show uh, 17 is an amazing cover boy, Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, no, you don't. Like, Ivory's going to be tough. Yeah, Super Mega Baseball 2 looks really cool. By the way, sound-wise, are we okay? Game audio to mic audio? Just, just double-checking. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Thanks, Nick of Time. And hey, Higgs, appreciate that. And that'll make it second and goal. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height. Yeah, why would you, why would Griffey being bad? I don't understand why Griffey would be bad. Oh, that's why Chris Ivory hurts. Are you kidding me, Scott? What does A-Rod have anything to do with Griffey? You're insane. Seriously, that's... All right, we're going to send a little outside pressure here. Uh, again, we're going to do coverage down so we see those hard flats. There we go. Make Portals throw it away with the extra pressure. I will say this. Pass rush on all Madden, both for the user and the CPU, seems so much better. I'm, I'm so impressed by pass rush on um, all Madden. I mean, who hates Griffey? Who hates Ken Griffey? I don't understand. All right, third and four. I like going base even against, um, like, base 4-3 defenses sometimes early in, early in the, like, first down, second down. Even against three wide receiver looks. We're going to keep that hard flat going there. It's Bortles. This is Yeldon on the dump off. And he gets the first down yardage. Yeah, Scob, I mean, you keep saying it's bad. Can, can I have a reasoning? Can you post in the chat what the reason is? Besides just, I'm a troll? Yeah, online online and Super Mega Baseball 2 look would be amazing. Like, that, that would put it over the top. Especially if everyone can use individual, um, individual ego ratings. They go back to the ground attack here. It's Ivory. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. You just well, said exactly you it could be worse, A-Rod ste steroid cover. You just said that. That is That to me says you have a problem with it. Winning at the point of attack. All right, we're going to leave Cloud Flat on here. Oh, man, I really want to go hard flat again, but I don't have the coverage against the side over here. Glover Quinn, big tackle. There we go. Up a third and two more. 
two minutes to go here in the Give first second, guys. half. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. Fighting off change of seasons, boys. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis. Oh, M dot. First half of play. You know it. You know it, kid. You need some guys that can that can hang with you, and you know right here, you know the you know your boy can hang. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Uh, I'm gonna throw those in a little bit. Here's Bortles to throw. I knew as soon as I sent the middle linebacker, when I saw those curl routes, I they always put that running back in the middle. Oh, that's a nice man. It's a good call. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet, or they just completely on me too. I hate the fall. Some people love the fall. Some people love that like 50 to 60 degree morning. Not your boy. Your boy wants 70 all day, every day. No, I can't go East Twins. Uh, yeah, it's Trey Lion. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. And I love hockey. I'm a hockey guy. I played hockey for a large part of my life. Go, Ebron! Go, Ebron, go! Get out of here! Eric Ebron, touchdown! Lions, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Show it to me! That's why you don't one-on-one -on -one coverage Eric Ebron, baby. Tell me, old man, it's too tough. Tell me there's a speed boost in all men. All right, so we are currently... All right, we might actually have a chance to go for something here. 53 seconds left, no timeouts. We're going to be very, very um, careful. There is not a speed boost in all Madden. Well, if there is, it's minimal. And I'm watching the chat instead. Wait, what? Right? You just mentioned I don't like where this is going. trying to get back into the game. Awesome. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may Still not be able down. to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. First half of action near Oh complete. man, I'm going to run a screen here, see if we can get anything. Otherwise, we're going in. As we get back down to the field. Nick of time, that sounds like my perfect, perfect weather. Oh, it's covered. It's covered. Telvin Smith. Nothing good ever comes of yelling. It's covered. It's covered, and throwing it anyway. So be very, very careful when it comes when it goes like that. Ah, uh, that hurts so much. Here late in this first 46 seconds, we're getting the ball back. We're done. We're done. We'll come back in the second half. Too far away. What's going on, River? Welcome to the stream, my good man. You're trailing. You're back in your own territory. Just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back in. Fight for me, Amir Abdullah. Yeah, we're done. We're done for this for this half. I want to go for it. There's just too much. Too much to go against. This is a big decision here. Selly every touchdown. <laughs> Selly every TD. You know, 
Ahex, I've had some success going to some of the other routes. Normally, if I... Before a screen, you can pretty much tell what your, um, what your dump off is. It's just that screenplay doesn't really have a dump off. So I, you're right. I probably should have just eaten the sack there. All right, twenty to seven after being down by that much, or after uh, pick six. Not bad. Uh, they kind of controlled the first half there a little bit. I mean, you can see that. We have a better average per play. Three takeaways just isn't going to do it. Three takeaways is what happens. So there we go. Chris Ivory, that play again. Probably shouldn't throw a zone blitz that close to the goal line. You leave too many holes, especially that that Tampa 2 uh, gap shoot from the middle linebacker. So. Yeah, the No Fun League doesn't. Yeah, uh, Telvin Smith. Oh, this hurts me so much. This hurts me so much. Hey, Hanks, we have a huge basket of um, candy bars waiting to go for tomorrow night. And it will be empty, not just by me. All right, come on, Andre Roberts, fight for me here. Back above the 25, we're good to go. All right, continue to the next moment. Third down alert, third and five. Normally we go gun here. I'm gonna try something. Let's let's try something going on here. Little levels play. 10-7 Redskins? Are we are we Oh that's right, they're going against the Bengals. Yes. They need to beat the Bengals, by the way. As a Ravens fan. Right, we might have Ebron here. More than likely we're gonna go Tate. There we go. Fighting for yardage, I love it. Yeah, boys, if you are not doing full candy bars for Halloween, you're doing it wrong. You are doing it incorrectly, and I beg of you. It costs like like five to ten dollars more to go from fun size, which are not fun, fun size, not fun, to full size candy bars. Do it right for Halloween, boys. Strong close. Oh, you know we're streaming tonight, boys. You know we're streaming during Hell in a Cell in the World Series. There we go. Probably should have used the quick juke there instead of the full juke. This is really one guy to beat. You almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. It's a leverage by the offensive line to create... I don't like this play at all. We're going mesh. Don't like that play. Um, so if... If right side, if Jalen Ramsey follows Bolden, we'll have Ebron. Because no one's covering Ebron on that team. Oh, is it? Whoa, they double covered him. Okay. I say something like that and I'm wrong. Mm, third and four. Let's stretch him out a little bit, boys. It's an empty line here. We're going to have to watch the pass rush. Be very careful on the pass rush. Nice, Ordos. Bills aren't an easy team, especially having to deal with like the Patriots. And, and uh, the Dolphins are unusually good in the computer this game. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Um, we're going to with Dobson just on a fade route. We're going to hope for Tate across the middle here. Time running out here on the play clock. Now Orlovsky. Oh, he got it knocked out of his hands. Mm, okay, that's all right. Didn't turn the ball over. Field goal, we're going to come back for 10 later. Uh, yeah, I think Hell in a Cell is going to be... No, no, nick of time. I think there's a large portion of wrestling fans are looking forward to that. Without question. Play 
All right, now we just defense has got to hold him. We got to hold him here. All right, a wide nine. Third and six. Okay, let's do a little cover three here. Oh, yeah, UK. Uh, I forgot about that. UK, uh, UK clocks went back already. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, he bit. I bit. When he sat down, I completely bit thinking I was going to lurk that. I was going to Ray Glitchkey that pass. And Yeldon just broke on it. The great play. That's a great play. It wasn't just Foley that promoted it, Hex. Uh, that was promoted by a ton of WWE people. What am I doing? I don't want to make that play. Fourth and four? On my 40? Play the moments. Play the moments is not doing me right here. We're going to keep Abdul in. Uh, Pettigrew's not going to beat Ramsey. Harbor and Ebron. This is a weird play call. Oh, no. Not great. Not great. Cowboys win tonight? Uh, sure. I'm okay with that. I got no problem with the Cowboys winning tonight um, against the Eagles. At, at Dallas, and Wentz has looked pretty normal, pretty human lately, so I have no issue with that whatsoever. Nice work, Carl. Zero Black Dragon. Thanks for the followers. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Fourth and ten for my 47? Come on, you're killing me. Killing me, play of the moments. We're down 24, I guess. All right, Ebron across the middle. If this is any kind of cover, too. We're going to keep Abdullah in. Got him. How about that QB accuracy, boys? That perfect QB accuracy, right? River Uzumaki, thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, dude. Wolfgang, welcome back, man. Got all kinds of people showing up for the stream today. Talking all kinds of hype. You want to go for it here? We shut you down. Nice work, Carl. Bump my fist. Saved by whoa, saved by Jesus. Sunday morning? Are you, are you supposed to be here? But welcome. Welcome to the stream, guys. Kevya Dig throwing some hype in the chat. I love it. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This is not the game that we wanted to happen. At six and three. And Losing at home to the Jaguars? And that'll push the lead from twenty-four up to twenty-seven. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even we miss anybody? Here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, Wait, I, you I can miss somebody. Too much. So if you're in range, oh, no. Never mind. You okay. Okay. Cubs? Are the Cubs coming back from 3-1, boys? Are the Cubs coming back from 3-1? Yeah, this offense definitely needs points here to get back in this football game. Sorry. They can start to chip away right now. You're not coming back from 3-1 on that Indians team. Indians too good. It needs too good. Cubs, we know you don't believe it, but oh, okay, it's a <laughs> I got you saved. My bad, dude. Dobson catch the ball. Dobson caught the ball. Are you kidding me? Uh, Kelvin Benjamin against Arizona, or Emmanuel Sanders against San Diego? I would say San Diego. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders against San Diego. I like San Diego's offense. I don't think San Diego's defense is is all that great. Here we go. Green 
I can't, I cannot wait. Barking Cat Live. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Barking Cat. What does a barking cat sound like? There's got to be something like that on Twitter, right? There's got to be Barking Cat on Twitter, right? So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome or you YouTube. back. Something like that, right? We're looking at second down now right? as they search for a consolation score. Second consolation score. It's always good to go to the consolation score. All right. Uh, depending on left outside nice linebacker, oh, might have Tate. Nope. Oh, I really wish he would have kept going there. No, <laughs> terrible. Come on, Alofsky, you got to make a play. Who did I miss? Dan, one, two, three, Rand. Dan Brand. Welcome to the stream, dude. So, for those of you that are watching the archive, I make a joke. Barking Cat Live has got to be on YouTube somewhere, right? And the first words out of Barking Cat Live in the chat is rough. You guys are insane. That is Barking Cat Live on the Twitch machine. Uh, yes, I am streaming tonight, Wolfgang. We're going to be streaming during Hell in a Cell. And the Cubs game, the Cubs Indians game. So we're gonna see. Oh, Scott! Really by the way, you said something about my NBA 2K sliders. Um, the shooting percentage and goes down when you do that. By the way, what what I said. So anyone that knows, I love sports games in general. NBA 2K17, set it on superstar, and then move all the sliders back to CPU. Or back from the CPU down to the user. So it's like shooting sliders and a couple of awareness sliders. Meowing dog. Somebody right now create meowing dog and come in here and meow. It's going to have to be, right? All right, let's get out of this. I've been embarrassed enough. We got to go beat the Vikings again. Get back to seven and four. Yeah, Barking Cat, Um, that's what we do. We do all franchise modes, so I really love... Um, just doing franchise mode in general. Uh, we're not going to upgrade yet. Although DeAndre Levy looks like he's ready. Um, Eric Ebron, ready. Uh, you know what? We are going to upgrade. Ebron's catching. I like it to get to that 80 level. Devin Taylor, good power moves. But guys, by the way, second year, this guy right here, Devin Taylor, is a free agent. Big time. Big time pickup if you can get him, so... Um, huge power moves, good speed. You're going to have to upgrade his awareness and his play rec a little bit, but that power move at 84 is huge. All right, let's get, let's get into the next week here. One player's regressed. Amir Abdullah. Dan Orlovsky in four interceptions and under 50%. How close are we, how close are we back to, uh... Good old Maddie Stafford. I need Maddie Stafford back now. We'll do Hell in a Cell predictions tonight. I'll go on before Hell in a Cell starts. No injury. Okay, so we can return. Yes! Maddie Stafford back. Love it. That's what we needed. We need Maddie Stafford back on this team. All right. Uh, let's look here. We got to cut a player. Oh, because he was on IR. Mm, I really like Kevin Hogan. Orlowski, you've done your point. You've done your part. Um, at some point, I think you will. Je uh, we're talking about Jeff Hardy be back in the WWE. Um, I do think so. Uh, I think him and Matt are both going to be back in the WWE at some point. Money talks. And they can make. They still have a ton of money to make. Yeah, Dan Orlowski running out of the back of the end zone hurts forever. Um, for Lions fans. So, actually... I don't think he's going to still be on the board. What do we need here? We need... Linemen, which we don't have any of. There's no really good linemen left, I don't think. 
Wouldn't mind a defensive tackle at some point. B, I'm okay with that. B block shedding? Ooh, we could do that. We deal with that. Nose tackle? You know what? Nose tackle is still working a 4 3, so B minuses, though. That's first round. Let's get into the. We looked at linebackers already. 3 4 pass rusher, don't need him. 3 4 pass rusher, don't need him. Actually, 3 4 pass rusher power moves. 6 2 2 53, a little small. Um, so barking, we stream every, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for this Lions franchise. My scouting strategy is of need. I look for need first. Uh, you see a bunch of guys. So like right outside linebacker, I'm a four, three guy in this franchise. So I'm not going to look at a three, four pass rusher unless he's closer to like 280, um, which you're not going to get a ton of because I, I would need to sit him down. I, I needed to sit him down on the 4-3, which, you know, is not going to work. You see, most of the guys, like 261, I would consider. You know, 260, 270, I'd like him to be a little heavier and high strength to get there. But again, I'm not going to look at a 3-4 pass rusher until I know his bench his bench reps. Uh, so, cornerback, again, looking for my need. I am more of a zone guy with this Detroit team, but... If there's a if he's got a B or a B minus, I like to see what his entire is. Um, but if he goes B minus C plus, I don't go back to him until I have the point. So like right here, zone coverage B, C plus man, I'll leave that five points on the table until zone until combine comes out. C plus zone coverage again, coverage is so expensive. I got no use for that. Uh, so we're gonna look. We could write down the list here. Again, so B minus press. What's his next one? C plus zone. We keep moving. B plus zone. Now this guy, watch list. Third nice round, work, B Carl. plus zone I'll coverage. Practice. Desert Rage, uh, thank you for the follow. Much yeah. appreciated. So it just depends. I know there's some guides out there, but my problem with the guy, there are guides. There are guides that will walk you through drafting. My problem with guides is I don't want to be told what's good. Like I wanna, I wanna get it myself. If you draft by a guy, you're pretty much guaranteeing yourself. You're upping the percentage for yourself with no input from you. The fun of scouting is I drafted him, not the guide. So I love the guy that makes the guide. There's two guys that make guides: one on OS and one on um, uh, weird sites. So let's see here. Ready to negotiate. Let's go back into negotiation. We'll move on to next week. Quarterback, I'm looking for throw power and then what goes to me. Um, if I'm a if I'm a deep accuracy, I'm a vertical guy, I'm looking for medium to deep accuracy. If I'm a West Coast guy, I'm looking for a little mobi mobility plus short accuracy. Offer submitted, Riley Reef. Oh, that was we already did it this week. Let's go back. Uh nego not negotiate what are we doing here advance week advance week boys i think we got a full game next week i think we're playing the vikings again so yeah like i said i would go if you're drafting i would go with whatever way you want um for me i just like to go for guys that might no uh, wolfgang hold on there you go Current sliders are in the chat. Again, default all Madden, fatigue at 60, and all of the penalties are at 51. All right, so we are going to play this game. It's the Vikings coming to Detroit. I don't need to work on field goals. Kidding me? Uh, what are their tendencies? Zone blitz. Again, we're going to do a little blitz counter. Blitz counters. Okay. I don't want to run cover two. Uh, this this week, I don't want to run cover two. I want to stop... Well, actually, Peterson, or do I really want to go after their pass game? Nah, run defense. Run defense. Um, Ebron, Glasgow, and Ashawn Robinson. Perfect. See you later, Eggs. What's up, Nikki Baseball? Solo. The Bulls are doing things I didn't think they could do so far. Um, I don't think they can keep it up. They just don't have the shooting. Dwayne Wade is not a three-point shooter. I've never had field goal. That's the first time I've ever seen field goal training pop up for me either, Barking. <laughs> it's very, very weird.
All right, boys. I think we two can get NFL into sources said there are three contending teams the looking world's for offensive going on. line help in the trade market. Get off my computer! All right, gentlemen, we've made way too many mistakes this week. Okay? Yeah, we got a bunch of Patriots fans in this chat, guys. Careful. Nice work, Carl. Bump my L factory. Uh, Thanks for the follow. Huh? Wait a second. Hold on. Is it L factory or is it Elf factory? Like, like an Elf factory or is it? An L factory. I gotta know. I gotta know. All right. So as you see here, we're going through the tutorial. We're not gonna go through the tutorial. It's essentially just facing cover zero and getting the ball out quickly. If you're against a cover zero blitz and you hold the ball for more than a three-step drop, you're done. Especially in all men. So here we go. Nice play though. Alex Reyes being a beast. All right, Factory, cool, dude. Again, so we're getting blitzes all over the place. The most important thing is make sure you get the ball out quick. Like right here, we're not, we may not have time to get the ball out to Eric Ebron um, on that follow round. So we might have to look at Dobson. Of course we don't get the touchdown. We gotta get real quick. You're the fact, oh, you're the factory. Okay, cool, dude, nice. Well, I mean, I, I, I get that it's Spanish. I appreciate that. Again, that's not going to work because it is a screen pass, but he gets man coverage, so. Again, we're going to have to get Dobson here, unfortunately. And see? Even right there, you just don't have the time. And you got to read that. And, and unfortunately, in this tutorial, I, don't, I can't max protect, which would be the other ideal situation. Never screen pass to Anquan Bolden. <laughs> Alright, again, pretty large in terms of routes here. Ebron might be the pick. There we go. <coughs> Try a little hop. Didn't work. Uh, we might be able to get Tate here. We might be able to get Bolden. Bolden's got... Okay, let's go bold here. First down. Okay. Big strong hands at Anquan Bold. I'm very happy about that. Why is there why is it a vert play? You don't put a vert play on the two yard line. Got lucky there. A little lead pass to the inside. Alright, one more time. Let's get this silver. Golden Tate. Nice play. Uh, might have Dobson or Roberts. Let's see how much time we have. Of course, Dobson drops the ball. He's got drop passes. We gotta see how much XP Dobson has. All right, let's see if a duel gets this little turn cut here. There we go. Hey, you know what, guys? That was pretty dang good. And you know they played well too, bright guy. Uh, Cavs beat the Canucks last night. I'm very happy with how they played. Each and every one of you should take that as a Again, challenge. just talking about gap stuff, um, you can go through it yourself. L Factory is a Giants fan. Giants have a big game today against the... Uh, are they on bye this week? They're on bye this week, aren't they? I'm incorrect. The Giants are on bye. Uh, L Factory, I actually picked the Giants to win the NFC East, and they're kind of letting me go. Let me down here. There we go. Big stop. Saved is a saved is a Lions fan? That, that would be all you're here, isn't saved? <laughs> Ooh. Abdullah putting the moves. Joe Sis in the chat is a fly Eagles fly guy. Catching me on the 0 1 trap. It was not a terrible pick just because you're a Skins fan, Cavicom. By the way, if you're doing tutorials, um, these are awesome for training. If you're just trying to get the golds, if you're in the run tutorials, taking the safety um, because he's not in the gap fit and because you know it's a run play, definitely a way to work it. Oh, unless Abdullah jukes you. 
What's going on? I'm the illest. Welcome to chat, dude. Yeah, Eagles were really good early, but I think we're starting to see Carson Wentz, the rookie Carson Wentz, um, which is not something we saw early on. So, yeah, sub Abdullah out and man, run against, like, my lower tier running back, right? Abdullah's pretty good, too. Come on, guys, get off your blocks. There we go. Yeah, their defense their defense has been amazing. I agree with that part. Good, the skins should win against the Bengals. The Bengals have been terrible this year. Gotta at least get a bronze here, boys. At least get a bronze. There we go. Good with that. All right, so let's go over some of these picks then. Um, we're going to do NFL Week 8 picks while we're working our way through this uh, Week 12 game against the Vikings. Redskins and Bengals game already on. We're not going to pick that, obviously. Uh, I'm Illis, a Titans fan. Oh, hi, what's going on? Yeah, L Factory, I think Manning could have a better season. I agree with that. Uh, I think Wentz is the better quarterback. I, I, I like Dak Prescott. Don't get me wrong. But Carson Wentz is the better quarterback in the future, so. All right, so let's do NFL picks. We have first the New England Patriots going to the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Buffalo Bills have been spotty at times. They have a really good defense in terms of running, and they run the ball with some authority. Um, Tyrod Taylor has been okay this season. But they beat the Patriots early on. The Patriots coming in are six and one. The Buffalo Bills are four and three. Guys, give me a one a chat for New England Patriots, a two for the Buffalo Bills. Let me see the chat. Throw them up. Got a couple of Pats. I'm pretty much everyone saying Pats here. Evil Empire wins that one. Let's play our game here. Patriots, a lot of Patriots. Ordos, Ordos coming in saying the Bills. Gonna Ordos Bills here since you're on your own. El Factory with the Bills too. El Factorio. Bills do always play well. I Josh the R says the Bills always play well against the Pats. I agree with that. So um, I'm gonna say Patriots. I said them the first game too, so don't get me wrong, but. I don't think you're going to beat the Patriots twice in a season. I think that's pretty tough. Uh, so I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and say the Pats win this game. Next up is the 2-5. and five. Disappointing J-E-T-S. Suck, suck, suck. The Jets against the only team in the NFL that might suck more, and that is the Cleveland Browns. Um, the Cleveland Browns 0-7. Kissler's looked like an okay quarterback, but he can't stay upright. Um, unfortunately, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do here. I'm going to say the Jets win based on their defense, and I think Fitzpatrick starting again. But, I mean, this this is a bad, bad game. Um, guys, give me a one in the chat for the Jets, two for the Browns. Show it to me in the chat, boys. With that, let's hand it over to oh, it looks like the Packers have pulled ahead. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They've been playing well, really well. Winners of five of their last. So you see, we are wearing our black jersey. Oh, is this color rush? Is this the color rush game? I'm all in. I'm all in for this game. I didn't even realize it. Got a lot of Browns in the chat. Cody Goatler from I Joshy R. Wow. All right, so it looks like Browns. I'm going Jets here, boys. Next up. Let's see. All right, good kickoff. Stephon Diggs is bringing that out. 
Red Sox says Jets, El Factory says Jets, everybody else is all about Cody Goatler. Um, next up on the docket will be your Detroit Lions 4-3 showing off so much more than they did last year against the Jekyll and Hyde Brock Osweiler led Houston Texans. Uh, boys, again, this is another tough match to pick. I think Stafford is too much for the Texans. Dude, I love these color rush jerseys. These color rush are so nice. Um, I get Wolfgang, give me one for the Lions, two for the Texans. El Factory says one. Wolfgang says Lions. Brock's Red Sox says this is Osweiler's coming out game. The Texans win by 15. I Joshi says Theo Riddick is gonna eat. Theo Riddick is hungry and must be fed. Texans at home, Cavacom says. A lot of mixed here, guys. Barking Cat says Lions. Ordos Red Sox says. Whoa, what am I doing? First and ten, Bridgewater. Ordos says Texans, Red Sox say, or my Red Sox says Texans, Bry Guy as the Lions, CPU Geek with the Texans, guys, so much, so much, feed Theo more. Uh, we're going to do a dime here again. Just going to do a nice little cover too hard flat. Guys, next up, the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the best defenses in the NFL, at 4-2, and two, going to Indianapolis, where Andrew Luck has quietly had one of the better seasons for a quarterback in a while. Um, he is a top-five quarterback, even though his team is not helping him. I believe Dante Moncrief is back for this game, guys. So this is Chiefs-Colts. I think the Chiefs are a different team on the road. An upset pick of the week for me is the Indianapolis Colts beat the Chiefs, guys. One for the Chiefs, two for the Colts. Let me know in the chat what's going on. Well, we're going to do a match here. Cover three buzz match. Get that match going in. Wolfgang says Colts. Illis says Chiefs. Cavacom says Chiefs are a lock. Teddy Bridgewater? Teddy Bridgewater going a little Randall Cunningham on us, boys. A lot of guys saying Chiefs. See you later, Ordos. Save says the Colts. Everyone else says Chiefs. I'm picking Colts, boys. Detroit, KC. All right. It's a lot of Chiefs picks. I, I like them. Don't get me wrong. I like them a lot. Cavicom used the Titans in his suicide pool. That is a ballsy pick. Yes, I'm going for you. I'm trying to kill Teddy. You kidding me? Well, not kill, but I'm trying to injure. We've got a bounty on Teddy Bridgewater right now. All right, after that is going to be the Seattle Seahawks 4-1-1 one one in one of the worst. Uh, I'm not going to say worst game because it really wasn't. Just very most defensive games in NFL history. Um, lose or tie 3-6 three, three, or six, six after a terrible Steve Hauschka miss. Uh, Degatti, unfortunately, not a mutt. You're more than welcome to throw it in there once, but not too many mutt guys in here. Yes, I'm picking the Colts because they moved from Baltimore. What? Um, so, Seattle at the Saints. I think Seattle wins this game. What's going on, Panthers fan? Welcome to the stream. Um, I think the I think Seattle wins this game. Too much defense, even though the Saints offense is really good. I think they get the run game going again. Seattle wins. Guys, one in the chat for Seattle. Two, four. Fourth down, fourth down. Yes, okay. Nice work, Carl. Oh, my best. Panthers fan, thank you for the follow. It is very much appreciated, sir. Welcome to the stream. He's not trying to kick this. 56 yarder. Yeah, we're gonna go safe man here. We don't we don't believe it. We don't believe it. Seattle, everyone says Seattle. Ooh! Joshy R with the Saints pick. 
And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. Bry Guy says Jimmy Graham gets a touchdown and a Seattle win. Barking Cats got the Seahawks. Mr. Penguin Rocks. Brandon Cookie Cooks is going wild in the Saints win. Baron Z Jr., thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Operation Sports stream. Held them there. Very happy about that hold. I, Joshy says, or Red Sox says, with that D, with the Saints D, we're going to pick the Saints. But you know what? You got to go out on a limb sometimes, boys. No way the Saints win for Mr. CPU Geek. A boy can dream. Penguin Rocks thinking about Brandon, Brandon uh, Cooks going wild. So the Lions go backwards there, and unfortunately, that's Next up, Oakland goes to Tampa Bay. Oakland is 5-2 and two and looking NFL. like the winner of the NFC or AFC West, no really whereas the Buccaneers the are hit and miss all the time. Uh, I'm going to go Bucks here. I just oh, get it. Oh, nice play. I'm going to think the Bucks win here, even though I really like the Oakland, Oakland offense. I never like those West Coast teams traveling East or East Coast teams traveling West. I just, something about it doesn't ring up to me. I'm going to pick the Buccaneers here. Uh, again, I don't know if that's the right pick or not, but we'll see. Russell Wilson's daily in lock. So let's go ahead and give me a one for the Raiders and a two for the Buccaneers. Playing coverage here. Uh, I don't like this play at all. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Uh, I gotta go for it. A bullet throw, but incomplete. That's what I like, boy. Barking Cats says Bucks are better than their record. Ones and twos in this chat. I like this. A lot of guys, uh, this, I love these 50-50 games. Battle S says the Raiders. Josh Yar says Bucks. Red Sox has Bucks. Both Red Sox have Bucks. Bry Guy's got a little Bucks action over the Raiders. Nice little run there by Abdullah. I love it. Saved says the Raiders. Nick of Time says the Bucks. Okay, let's keep going here, guys. Let's get through the rest of this. Next up, the Arizona Cardinals, the other side of that tie game on Monday night or Sunday night. At 3-3-1, three, three and one, going to what has been a woeful season for the Carolina Panthers. Um, give me a one for the Cardinals, two for the Panthers. Guys, I think this is the Cardinals. I said something about the West Coast teams not traveling well. I don't think there's any reason to worry about traveling going to Carolina. Guys, I think the Cardinals win this. Panthers fan, of course, says Panthers. My Red Sox says Panthers. Got a lot of other cards. Cavacom needs Bray to score big in his Buccaneers, but he's going to pick cards for that game. Red zone opportunity. Fluffy's got the cards. Anyone not have the cards besides the Panthers fan? Well, my Red Sox says so, so. All right, might have Bolden up the middle here. We'll see. Oh, come on. Terrible play. Terrible play by your boy. Seat up, thank you for the host. So appreciated, sir. Next up, so we're pretty much saying Panther, or I'm sorry, Cardinals for a lot of them. A couple Panthers picks. But next up will be the San Diego Chargers. Talk about Jekyll and Hyde, right? Couldn't hold a lead earlier this season. And last week, storm back to win. So the Chargers are going to the Broncos. Broncos are 5-2. and two. Chargers are 3-4. and four. I actually, I picked the uh, Lions. I don't think the Lions would be an upset in, in Houston, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go with the Broncos here. I think the Chargers are one trick pony. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be one for the Chargers, two for the Broncos, but I think the Broncos win this game. Nice run by Peterson. Wow. Being at home helps, um, even though it's a divisional matchup. Pal52, thank you, sir, for the host. Lenny P in from Germany saying the Broncos. 
Peterson alone in the backfield. Now Bridgewater. Oh, nice play. Save says he doesn't think Palm Carson Palmer is the same guy. <laughs> the San Diego Superchargers by Wolfgang Stock. Barking Cat says Broncos. We are we are not doing well here, guys. We got a underneath coverage. Got to get back to that hard flat. They come out here in the Bridgewater gives to his tailback Peterson. Got to tackle him, boys. Got to tackle him. Josh, he says he needs the Broncos and Raiders to lose so his Chiefs can climb back up to standings. We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position... Savage Squad says I should do a combo blitz. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. All right, let's see here, boys. We're going to hard flat that out. Now we've got movement up front, and I think this is going to be on Minnesota. There we go, boys. A little five-yard like that. Barking Cat says the AFC West is so much more fun with the Raiders are better. Illis says Chargers. All right, let's see here. We'll cover through match action. Next up is going to be the Green Bay Packers 4-2 and two at the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons offense has looked like it falters. Their defense is horrid. Guys, but Green Bay maybe not much better. So let's go one for the Packers, two for the Falcons, guys. Who do you think wins this game? The Falcons are four and three. The Packers are four and two. Is Aaron Rodgers just destroy here? Joshy R says the Packers win in a shootout. Bry Guy says the Falcons. Xander with the Falcons. Savage Squad has the Patriots. Yeah, I think everyone picked that earlier too. Right. Coverage of the sticks, boys. No, don't let him get that. There we go. Get him, throw it away. Mr. CPU Geeks says Falcons rise up. Hashtag rise up. Packers Jones gets three 300 receptions. Tie because neither defense does well. So, Fluffy, what do you think of like a 42 42 tie? So kind of split down the middle. I think more fa more people think the Falcons win. The home team love going on. Uh, after that, we have the Sunday night game. I think a lot of you guys are looking forward to this. Mm, we're doing that. So it is the four and two Philadelphia Eagles against the five and one Dallas Cowboys. Boys, one for the Eagles, two for the Cowboys. Maybe some of the youngsters and his veteran leadership should help them along the way. Uh, the Eagles defense has looked amazing. The Cowboys offense, especially their run offense, has looked really good. This is in Dallas. I think Dallas wins this game. How do I broadcast? Um, I use an Elgato and hook my Xbox 360 into my Elgato and then stream to Twitch with uh, open broadcast software. Open broadcast studio? OBS is what it's called. <laughs> Joshy R says, go, just a call back to the Falcons Packers. Joshy R says, Ryan goes 450 plus, Julio gets 250 plus, Rodgers gets 450 plus, Montgomery, Devontae Adams, and Randall Cobb combined for 400 yards. Receiving. Nick Baseball's going back, picking Cleveland. Oh, Ebron with a nice move. I love it. Or you can just use the share button on PS4. Yeah. Savage, if you have... Actually, you can do it on PS4 or Xbox. If you are on PS4, just hold the share button and create a Twitch account. Yeah, you gotta have a you have to have a Twitch account. Do I think Roma will start again? I do. I think Roma uh Xbox One, not a three sixty, sorry. Sorry, but that phone ringing? I really need to turn that thing off. 
Well, yeah, you have to put your Twitch stuff in. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. There's Stafford now in second down. To the right side to Eric Ebron. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. All right, boys. Maybe Gonna have to get something here. Lost, yeah, you I went, think we might want to try a screen pass, but the computer's pretty like good on this level at re uh, yeah, sniffing those out. For them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Third and long, it's Stafford. This is Riddick. Go, Riddick, go. Oh, he tripped over him. I had it. I had it. Oh, I was so close. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. I know you got a baseball background, right? A little bit. Started yeah. minor league ball. Yeah, you did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It starts... Oh, man. That was that was not a good start anyway, so. All right. So we thinking, let's go back into this. Eagles <laughs> one, no gain. No Cowboys two. It and the Show it to me again, boys. What are we going to do here? Uh, ran out of time. One team couldn't get ready in time, and this is going to be a delay. Got Fluffy saying the Cowboys, Xander saying the Cowboys, Wolfgang. I got all Cowboys here. Bry Guy says one go Eagles. Nice tackle, Smith. Way to go, boys. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. You will cover three. We'll cover two hard flat. There we go. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle, boys. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Great play there off the end. Question, Charles. In a 4-3, you hear about the D tackles a lot. What's the role of the ends? What they want to do is control the edges of the defense. And you always hear about an offense talking about setting the edge. Man, I tell you what, boys. Did. Allergies the suck. Wants to do exactly the same thing in the defensive end. Often against the All right, let's do this. A little hard flat action end. again. Even though we want him to throw the ball deep. Because if they do that, that hurts no, the nice the play. My man, the encyclopedia. 15 yards through the air on a first down. If you're running out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Gotta, gotta have that. That's, that's the one thing about the hard flat. If you cannot get to the quarterback, they will get those outside routes on you. Again, there you see that. I go ahead and I shift my safety to the outside, try to keep him on the inside. Yeah, Bridgewater's pretty good. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're not done yet. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Got to put Peterson down. Okay, there we go, boys. Yeah, I should be dressing up as... <laughs> am I dressing up as Mucinex for Halloween? Yeah, man, I tell you what. It is not good, is what it is. Alright. 0-0, zero, zero, first quarter. I can deal with that. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head and Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not death. We have one more, I think, game. Guys, is there any question who's winning this game? The Vikings at the Bears. Guys, one for the Vikings. And don't type in my chat if you think the Bears are going to win. Um, I'm not a fan of either one, but come on. Oh, nice move. 
Vikings, Vikings, one, one. Nick of Time, Vikings. Fluffy says Vikings. Wolfgang says Vikings. L Factory's back. Seat up says Vikings. It's not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. Uh, saved. I believe. Oh, Solo Assassin's Bears fan. We don't stand a chance. Xander's going all in on the Bears. Put your money where your mouth is, Xander. <laughs> Show me the bet that you placed on the Bears. Home dog on Monday night. Uh, Sage says there's a rumor that Sheldon Richardson and Joe Hayden will be traded. Uh, I've heard the rumor about Joe Hayden. Joe Hayden has to show that he is completely healthy before a team will take him and, and pay what they need to pay for him. Um, I have not heard about Sheldon Richardson, but it wouldn't surprise me with where the Jets are. Oh, get him, Levy. Bears cover the plus six. It's about time the Browns shopped Joe Thomas. Yeah, we're going to get 4-3 here. I don't want to, but we're going to. Come on, get up in there, boys. Big stop. Right? Fourth and one, yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, they already missed one. Oh, one yard. I want to go block because the blocks are so good this game, but we can't. We, we got to go for safe here. At a, for to go for a 52-yarder, let him kick it. See? Just gotta have faith. Have faith. The computer's gonna miss. Blair Walsh. Guys, don't forget, if this is your first time at the Operation Sports stream, look above my head, either on your computer or on mobile, tap your screen, look above, and if you like what you see, give us a follow, get notified anytime we go online, it's every Sunday at 10 a.m., and then kind of hit or miss all the other times, but for the most part, we stream all sports games, all franchise mode. I told you guys we were going to start an NBA 2K, we will, we're waiting on rosters, which apparently are being stopped by a patch. There's something in the game mechanics that are not allowing rosters to be downloaded, so. Once that goes live and we get rosters, we're good. Uh-oh, Abdullah! Going! Hunter Smith saving the touchdown. Love it. Yeah, Barking Cat, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m., and we're always done by 1 so we can go watch the football. Um, I think Jay Ajay, I talked about this on a podcast I did this week. If Miami, if Ryan Tannehill can be the quarterback, game manager, or even, you know, a threat, okay? If he can do that for them. Yeah, Harrison Smith, not Hunter Smith, sorry. Um, if he can do that, I think Joe Ajay could be, or Jay Ajay could be a top five running back. But that's a big if. Tannehill has to not... Oh, no. I got lucky there. Woo. That's why you don't dip your head with your fullback. Who is that? That wasn't a bar. Who was that? It's Troy Palomato, right? Yeah, Troy. It's Troy Palo. Anyway. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. Right. Yeah. Oh, the Riley Reef. No, he caught the ball and then dove with it, I think. Oh, Kendricks. Good point. All right, we're going to keep Burton in. Might have Tate on the outside. He's got the, he's got the route running. Nope, lost him. Threw it right to Barr. I said Barr's name. That's what you can't do. You can't say Anthony Barr's name. Terrible throw by me. Terrible throw. But that's what I like about All Madden. All Madden will, if you, like that, that's not a boost. That's just me taking a bad throw. 
this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board. But give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Now the Vikings now right. heading on to the field. Now yeah, this roster actually, I have been annoying this roster, I believe. Unfortunately, though, it ended yeah, there we go. After the missed field goal. And Whitehead, it's actually hurt, so that's why Bostic's in the middle. As they drove downfield. You know you're never supposed to pack points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there. The other thing you want to remember to do, guys, is remember that if you know it's a pass, use that pass guess with the, uh, I'll show it to you here. If you know a pass is coming, L trigger, and then up on the right stick, that will help with your coverages, so. Maybe something they can build on as this game continues. Again, Peterson. And he'll go down just shy of the 25. They missed the extra point? Man, it's not good. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because... Make Stafford use his feet? Yeah, right. That, that always goes so well, right? Tendency. Stay with what you are. Stay with who you know. And go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. He's trying to hurt somebody. Yeah, AP, dude, their line, their line is really good rushing the ball. So I gotta find. I don't want a safety blitz. Yeah, let's free fire. Let's let's, let's start throwing some man blitzes in here, boys. Favorite 17 sports game so far, Wood. Man, I'll tell you what. The show was really good. I'm gonna take the show out of that just because it's got a six month. Uh, how can you call me? Oh, you just call me Millennium. L or Mill. Mill works too. Or you just call it, say OS. I answer to OS too. Yeah, Matt, dude, since I learned about, since Madden on all Madden level became so good, dude, it's really close. I'm a huge NHL fan and a huge NBA fan too. So 2K and, once 2K gets this next patch out and we get some rosters, I might change it. But right now, it's Madden and NHL kind of here. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes I mean, I, I've got two franchises active going in the, in the Madden right now. That's this one. And I've got a... Oh, why do you jump? It's a... Uh, this might be a first down. Nuts. Um, so I've got, I've got this going, and then I've got a Buccaneers franchise that I moved to San Antonio in year two and renamed them the San Antonio Dreadnoughts. Blue and yellow jerseys, gorgeous. Man, Kyle Rudolph. Uh, I, dude, I love Sterling Shepard. I love his game. I don't think this is the season he blows up. I, I think he's going to be like next season. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that. Yeah, in battle with the Packers, you would kind of expect to go 8-1 on all men. With the Buccaneers, I think I was 7-9 and nine the first season before I moved. And now I'm 1-1 one one with wins against the Dolph with a win against the Dolphins and a loss against the Patriots. Granted, it was the Corey Brissett-led Patriots, but I couldn't... Uh-oh, there was McKinnon. Oof. McKinnon's dead. McKinnon has one carry, and he's down. And a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. All right, they're going four wide. Back to the ground. Oh, they spread me out. Smart play. He's going to push his way down to about the 12. I think the Giants should trade for Garoppolo? I don't know about that. Um, if you're going to trade... Oh, actually, I do play FIFA. I, I, I play FIFA. I have a West Ham franchise. I have not... I have Pro Evo. I just haven't played it yet. I just... I don't know how we're going to... Mm. 
I don't know how we're gonna stop it, but we're gonna we gotta stop it. We have to stop this, play on this drive up. run game. I agree, saved, but I don't think you can do it this year. You can't take Eli Manning off of that team this year. Come on, Condre. Come on. Oh no. Uh, nice try, Condre. All right, got to tighten down here, boys. Can't give up seven. They dropped below 1,000 because nobody wants to go to the Cubs game and watch them lose on home turf. And keep it from being a big game. I don't like this play at all. We're going cover two. On the practice field this week, this is exactly the situation they've been prepping for. The offense operating inside the ten at the eight here. It's first and goal. There we go. Good, good play. He's at 83 yards and 19 carries, and we're on 60 fatigue. He's never coming out of the game again. That's a win for the stop troops. That's the only you know what if, if I had to pick one thing to be fixed in Madden, it is CFM coaches. Franchise coaches should be defaulted at 80 and 60. Uh for their sub out sub in. Just like it is in play now. Because me putting fatigue on 60 65 is not a way to get subs. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver tight end, but running backs they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. I like Larry Dino. Yeah, you've mentioned that, Braga. There we go. Shutting it down. Four game seven tickets for 24,000 each. Uh, fatigue right now is on 60. I had it on 65, but we started seeing those false start issues uh, in the fourth quarter of games. So, no, save it. Don't. Save to ask if I think the NFL should have a developmental league. No. Um, because, hold on. And the Vikings have a 3 nothing lead. So after two unsuccessful attempts this time, he's able to find the range. I do not because of the violence of the sport. Um, and this sounds crazy, and I get it. You play in high school, you play in college, but there should be no developmental league. Uh, if you're either in or if you can't, there's no reason to ruin more lives for, you know, you're not going to get much more out of it if you're in a developmental league. So you have the CFL they pull from that, so. Oh, almost. Turn there, gets him across the 30 to the 33 yard line. The Minnesota defense, we watch them get set to roll. All right, here we go, boys. We got to do something on this drive right here. Okay, work with me on this one because I think we've got to do the highlight video at the end of the season. Can you imagine putting this together? The high energy, the impact, all these takeaways cut into one sequence. I think they'll love seeing that on the big screen. <laughs> We'll just cannot, absolutely cannot get anything going on the ground. Then one rush, and that was it. Let's see if we can get that post, the uh, the golden route out of this. I love doing fantasy drafts in games, Wolfgang. Um, for me, it's not my choice, but I I love I love that idea. Yeah, maybe a couple more practice quad spots. Like, listen, I like that idea. Or expanding the rosters. But, no. I, nothing nothing that's going to cause more games. Stafford. Orlowski doesn't make this throw, by the way. Yeah, I've had issues with the two. Um, barking, I just don't know. I've had it run for huge chunks, though, as well. It's very hit or miss. Let's see if the power out of that stretch works. Nah, I wanted to cut back in there, but I had to get around the guy. I am going to take a shot. Oh, this might be the time. Come on, do we have it? Do we have this? The play clock's running down. He's got the speed. Here's Stafford now on second down. He's going to walk to a deep Oh, Tate, you got to catch Tate that. There, a nice oh. Charge the ball free and brings up third down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. 
You have to catch that ball. Oh, it puts me on. I'm on such tilt after that. Oh, you got to catch that ball. All right, I'm going to guess that the safety on the right side of that is going to drop back into coverage against Tate. So I might be stuck with Dobson here. Yeah, nothing, nothing to do there. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can. See you later, Mr. CB Geek. Thanks for stopping by, done. dude. Here's Sam Martin. Now. Let this hit the two-minute warning. For his second punt, he'd take a repeat of his first. Uh, actually, that was a. That was a aggressive catch because I didn't think I had a step on him. So that might have been why. Um, I may have wanted to go with the rack instead. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. Yeah, we have we guys from all over the place, all factory. We got our um, our Germany crew is around. I know that Lenny. I saw Lenny here. This one's high, but oh, nice sky ball. punt. We got this, boys. And great special teams nice punt. Here. Let's just knock it on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, all right, boys. You can get them. I'll back him off a little bit. To throw is Bridgewater. It's all right. Keep the clock moving. Keep the clock moving. That's what we need here. Second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones we're gonna go wide here because I don't think they're gonna use the run too much. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much again about going hard flat. Nice tackle. Yeah, I, I do. I do notice that the possession catch is probably a better idea on that barking guy. I kind of wanted to get him into the end zone, so I, I understand that. So we'll see. Are they in two clock? I'm predicting it'll be a six-six tie, kind of like Monday night or uh, Sunday night. I mean, I haven't held him. 12 for 14, 12 receptions, and 101 yards is perfect. I mean, that's I'm not letting him go deep on us. Uh, this is I'm using the Lions playbooks, Lions offense and defense. Back him up. We know it's a pass. Is this the four verts across the middle? Yep. Nope. Clear out play. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Uh, man. So the offense I'm going to regret this. I'm going to send some pressure here. Highlight digs. Oh, he got out of bounds and pushed him in. Should have held him down, boys. Come on. Yeah, we have got. To, we cannot give up points right here. Nice work, Carl. DeAndre Levy tackling. There we go, boys. Ryan FIFA, thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome to this stream. 
everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Yeah, see, L Factory, I, I'm with L Factory. There's a ton of leagues all over the world that play American football. And I agree, it's not always great. Uh, I think there's a English league, too, that's not great. Oh, man, this is not the play. On first and ten, Bridgewater. He's going to leave this for his running back. Velody Nada getting over. And he's brought down. Right. 18, come on, tick, 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 tick. Come on, clock, tick. <laughs> they have a timeout. They definitely have a timeout. Oh, are we going to get out of this because of a, because of a CPU issue? You're only 65. <laughs> We're going to get out of this. We're going to get out of this. There we go. In field goal range. You're right. They should have They should have did the timeout, but... Well, it's just like here, L Factory. You guys, you guys probably have great soccer down there, European or uh, everywhere else football. Um, whereas here, we have the MLS, which isn't great, and we have local soccer, which isn't great. We should be up right now, six three. Actually, it would probably be nine six. If they had missed the field goals. The problem is we've turned the ball over twice in the red zone. Okay, Larry, so we got to be more careful about that. that What's going on, accountant? Welcome to the stream, dude. This fielded at the two. And a good effort Had the hold, just couldn't cut it back. The 30 to the 33 yard line. The Lions offense now with a football left run there. Okay. Three. We're going to try something from Nice work, Carl. Oh, I'm oh, pissed. Oh, Welcome to the stream, dude. Thank you for the follow. It is appreciated, good sir. Or madam. Nah. See you later, L Factory. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Alright, Tate across the middle. Might have Bolden, depending on what that safety does. Fight for me, Amir. Come on. It's a gain of nine yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Looked like a pretty good safe play right there. No, he's had trouble. Oh, I know this this is gonna end well, but we're gonna do it anyway. Gotta run the ball here. Third inches, gotta go for it. If I can't gain one yard, I don't deserve to be on the field. Or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now you get to the check. There we go. Big pickup. Big pickup, boys. Anyone, uh, anyone get Titanfall this weekend, guys? Just curious. Might be, uh, doing the old, don't forget Target this week if you are in the U.S. I think it's just U.S. Target is buy two, get one free. So, oh, turn that inside. So if you guys are look, waiting to get some games, I mean, getting games for $40 a pop isn't bad. Dude, I've had fullback, you know what? You say that, Barking. I've had fullback dive destroyed for me. Like, in the backfield and all that. Not good. And trust me, I've wanted to. I've wanted to keep with it. Can't do it. I can't trust fullback dive anymore. You saw my guy fumbled the last time. Oh, got Ebron. Let's keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Yeah, last year fullback dive was was a money play, but this year I not so much. This is what we gotta do. We gotta keep this run game moving. Try a little misdirection. Since we're starting to work that right, work the right side a little bit. Let's try a little left side here, boys. Go, 
Oh, run! Fight! You have to fight! The tackle goes to Harrison Smith. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice... Yeah, see, for me, I can't get... For me, like dive kills me. ...come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now the Notre Dame man, this is Theo Riddick. Did he get it? Oh, I don't think he got it. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. Great shed. Great play. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. From the left hash, this will be a 40. Oh, I missed this wide. I can't believe I just missed that kick. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. It's a little funny story. Yesterday, I'm playing my uh, my Buccaneers franchise. And I'm in the first game against the Dolphins. Um, the guy who's my kicker, obviously. And I sit there say to myself, man, they've really made kicking so much easier this year. Uh, I mean, like, since, like, a patch. I, I started to buy into it. That was a thing a lot of people bought into. And, uh... So, <laughs> then the next game, I proceeded to miss two kicks with the Guayo, and now I'm missing kicks in this franchise. I think I got the yips. You say that, Cavicom, but again, I have people blowing up, I have defensive tackles blowing up my plays. Not always, especially a good, good defensive line like this. All right, come out in the Mabel, see what they come out with. You have three receivers on the side? Nope. I'm going to cover two man here. Base it up. Oh, I, I dipped. I dipped. Oh, guys, come on. Oof, got lucky there. Uh, Barking Cat, I did not. I just I just started it like two weeks ago, and I just got the year two. I moved them to San Antonio. Used one of the, the dread, they're called the Dreadnoughts. Like a blue and yellow uniform with a uh, uh, big warship on them. It's kind of cool. And it looks like we've got a dime set Crap, hold on. Six DBs in the game. Bridgewater from the gun on third down. And he'll just toss it away. PA comeback I like a lot, especially if you have high route running guys. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or pass. I agree with that one, Cavicom. I love that play. Chose to try and get it through the air. I never seem to have the tight end open across the middle uh, on the on the streak on that play. But I always, the, the outsides are, unless you have like a cover three on. This is taken at the 10. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Lions will take over. Amir Abdullah gearing up now to lead this offense. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not yeah, a smart day. routing. I absolutely agree. Ooh, I don't like this play at all. After what we saw in the first half, but let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. We're going to see if we can work this. We're going to keep Ebron in. Tate missed the first time. Let's go for it this time. Come on, boys. Come on, Tate. You get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. Celebrate every touch down. That was the rack catch barking. <laughs> it's just a moment with the guys covering. Show it to me. Show me flying. In the there we go. And once he's by him, there's no catch. No. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Man, I cannot hit the middle of this. It's starting to worry me, boys. Man, that's a huge play. We needed that one. And again, I don't think that's a throw that Orlovsky makes. I just don't. I think Orlovsky, from what I played with Orlovsky this year, 
He does not make either overthrows or underthrows, unfortunately. So. A chance for us to look at the Lions' defense again. They were able to force that three and out. That led to a touchdown. And defenses obviously love three and outs. They want more of that. They created a very short and not too sweet stint for the offense by getting them off the field that fast. But it set up their own offense. Gave them a little spark. And they took it down. All right, let's do this. Now the question, can they do it again? Let's see. Peterson as they begin on the ground. Good stop. Good stop, and boys. Fight forward to about the 27 yard line. Love it. Love it. Give me that 10 yards. The other thing you'll see on this guy's with 51 penalties, just talking about the sliders a little bit. You'll see more block in the backs than you will holds, but they're the same yardage, so I wanted to jump up on that badly. I wanted to jump up on that tight end in the middle, and I for the last second I said, wait a second, I gotta get deep. I gotta worry about deep middle. Spending time in the receiver drills, getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tag. No doubt about it. It's like he went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in back. Yes. Breakdown tackle, baby. Just so you guys know, breakdown tackle, tackle is different than just the regular A or X tackle. Um, you hold the strafe and then use your gen your normal tackle button, A on Xbox One and X on PS4, and it actually is a more sure tackle than even the regular one. That's how we hold them, boys. 20 for 24. Again, I'm going to tell you guys, 20 for 24, 150 yards. I'm okay with that. If you're going with under 10 yards of uh, 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 completion, bring it. Don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. This will be fielded at the 17. Oh, shifty! Ooh, almost, almost had him. And that's why Theo Riddick's back there. That's why Theo Riddick is not my starting running back because he's too important for me. Uh, what do you mean, what camera, pal? What do you, which, like, the actual camera, like, here? Or the camera for the game? They're trailing on the scoreboard. Now, they had to watch that last drive, then they come out here. Defensively, when you played, did you like being out there defensively to start? Which, which camera do you mean? I wanted to be out there right away. Come out of the locker room, get right back into the flow of the game. Because sometimes when you mm, I don't know if I like this play or not. You liked it when you're off We're going to run it anyway. Drive, but it made it a little bit tougher to get out on the field. Well, it's the second drive here. We'll see how they Nice play. Nice play. It's a six -yard the other thing it's that I don't see a lot of people play. use is if you're running up the middle, here, use the RB. Um, let's see if I can show it here. The RB is a get skinny button, but it actually pushes you through holes, too. No turbo, use the RB. You'd be surprised how many times you slip through. And I don't think it's it, it, it's a lot of fumbles. It's like right here, it's like that. It kind of leads you through a hole. Mark Short? Are you kidding me? I really don't want to go the other way, so you love the ticker because the, you love the ticker because the skins are nine and one. It's not a good reason to like the ticker. I like the ticker too. Don't get me wrong. Oh, it's a Logitech C920. Uh, a lot of streamers actually use it. Although there's a new one coming out uh, this winter or fall maybe. That is the C922. No, no, it still covers up parking cat, but if you're in the middle of the line, it does that that uh, get skinny too. So it has, it's contextual. It's a contextual button. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. Golden Tate. I don't think we're going to have it. No, there. What was that? What a terrible... Oh, what a terrible play, Burton. Of course, he's my fullback, and he's terrible, so I should, I should expect that. Alright, 
Burton moved so slow. So slow on that play. And now out comes Minnesota. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now for the game this close. Nice tackle. All right, defense. Got to keep me in the game. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes. But they've been moving away. Stafford feet, yeah. On the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. They run again with Peterson. Oh, no. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? All right. The human first down machine. I think that fits. They give it to Peterson. And he'll be taken down. All right, nice play, Nana. So, I mean, Peterson's still racking up the yards. That's not going to change in this. Uh, actually, let's go wide here. No, oh, obviously slide. Obviously give yourself up. No, 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 no. Spotlight and digs. Spotlight digs. Throws to Treadwell. Saw it. Saw the hit. So roughing the passer, 15-yard penalty. And you notice how the offensive line responded. A couple went to check on the quarterback, and a couple went to the guy who hit the quarterback. No one likes to see their quarterback hit. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. Oh, Peterson just blew Wilson up. Completely blew Wilson up. What the emphasis is in the NFL. It what do you mean both, Wolfgang? Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Bridgewater. Oh, I picked the wrong guy. I agree, Suspicious Ray. I absolutely agree. Peterson is so dominant. I could run blitz all day, and he's still going to get to it. Uh, no, they're both at... Right now, it's 49-50. mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And the offense inside the five here. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Uh, yeah, sub in, sub in, sub out is 49 and 50. Just whatever it's defaulted at. I, the only reason I don't change that is because I don't think it's fair that I can change it and the CPU doesn't. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let him run it in. They run game killed me there, boys. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. And so we have the touchdown now. Here's Blair Walsh. Yeah, it was really good blocking. Away. Especially on DeAndre Levy. Andre Roberts now to return it. Oh, I thought I could. Oh, I almost had the outside last second there. And the Vikings defense ready to head back out there now. And the interception the last time they were out there ended up leading to a touchdown. Getting into some hard times, boys. Some dusty roads. Take it, take it immediately to the end zone, but their offense capitalized. On the takeaway and turn it into the six points they were looking for. Set them up pretty good. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Those are the ones you kind of have to touch pass so you don't run your uh, run your running back out of bounds. The right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the I can't believe I'm thinking about throwing it to Burton again. I mean, I've got Tate again, press coverage on the outside. Now it's Stanford. Ebron wide open. Uh, yes, I will be streaming tonight, Jimbo. I will be streaming tonight. I don't know what we're going to stream yet. Part of me wanted to stream Super Mega Baseball, not going to lie. Uh, we're going to stream something because Hell in a Cell and the World Series possibly clinching game will be on tonight. I will say it'll be something I can't put attention into. Maybe we'll do NHL. I can only play NHL pretty well uh, while distracted. Contested game to this point, just a field goal. So far, so good. Here we go. As we get set for the fourth quarter. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Oh man, I don't like this at all. Getting back at the middle here. 
How are, they can't sweep the Cubs. The Cubs already won a game. Uh, it's three and one. I wouldn't be surprised if the Indians win tonight. And, and win it in Chicago. Super Mega Baseball is a really cool game, baseball game that looks cartoonish. Dre, thanks for the follow, dude. Looks kind of cartoonish, but is so much more realistic than people let on. Yeah, I, I agree with that suspicious. Saw it coming, couldn't get her, couldn't get rid of it fast enough. Yeah, Xbox One, yeah. It's on Xbox One and PS4. It was actually the free game in... Actually, it still might be. It's the free game for Xbox Gold of the Month for October. One of the two. Amazing baseball game. Amazing. Not MLB, but amazing. such a close game, a very big one. I might have Bolton here. I just don't know if I want to test it. Second and ten, Stafford again. Complete here to the right to Bolton. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. And Quan Bolden, his second touchdown on the season. And the Lions have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Let's go. Oh, I call it. Love calling my shot. Love calling my shot. There's nothing better than saying, man, I think I've got Bolton here, and then Bolton scores. And that makes it 14 10. Alright, great way to start the fourth quarter. Gotta play defense. Have to play defense now. All right. Defense starts the good special teams. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Thanks, Suspicious. And now out comes Minnesota. I thought it was, too. need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field. Punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back? Oh, Is it more pressure? too long. Got to be able to get to the quarterback faster. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Usually hitting a deep post pattern, as we just saw there for a big gainer, that's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up, wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change up. There we go. Good play. Good play. Way to knock it out. Condre Diggs looking nice on that play. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball. Man, I'm going to have to start throwing. I'm going to have to start sending a little pressure. He's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Second down following the incompletion. On second down, Bridgewater again. I tell you something about calling your shot. Got to send pressure. Sack. Here we go, boys. Throw a little more pressure his way. Well, they're going to be the blitz? Yeah. Oh, he picked it up. Big play by Ziggy Ansa. Thought he was going to have that. Fat guy interception. You gotta love fat guy interceptions. Get off a 
fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Yeah, Alright, boys. Need a big long drive here. I'm thinking like 13 plays. Is that really surprising? Suspicious? How often sometimes is that that you come into a game and the defense is game planned a little differently than you expected? More often than maybe people realize, so adjustments are often a big part of each and every game, and it's not just getting to halftime. That's what you need. You need a big, a six-minute drive here would be really nice where we score. Able to hang in there when there's a little adversity early and see them able to flip it around. It's kind of gratifying for a team to watch, especially for a coach. And after the play on the ground, that brings up Can't fall in love with the run, though. Got to keep it mixed up. Don't fall in love just because I need the need the time off the clock. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. A second down run for Abdullah. Nowhere to go. Should have seen Harrison Smith cheating in there and change the play. In the back of my head, I'm like, man, Harrison Smith sure is a little, deep, little short in there. That's what they're doing. Uh, yeah, Drake Frick, let's go there. Keep it going, but you gotta figure now. They're gonna see All right, we're gonna have we're going to have Tate open, but I need him open far enough to make this first down. Ebron might be the pick here. Play clock winding down. Stafford down to throw, and he connects with Ebron, and he's brought down after a good game. Yeah, no, no, I'm mean, absolutely. If, I've seen the Patriots make it. I've done a bunch of like test franchises. Um, I've seen Patriots, Saints, Patriots, uh, I had the Redskins once, Patriots, Packers is another big one, but I mean, they're the best rated team in the game, rightfully so, so. Alright boys, here we go. Crowder scored? For the Redskins? Nice. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I like to keep carrying it. Yeah, switch this up. I don't want Bolden doing, getting the... I don't think Ebron getting it's much better, but we'll see. Time running out here on the play clock. Guys, you gotta got to block him. Got to block him. Might have thrown it a little early, too. They lost two there. A read dig action. Here we go. All right. So again, I'm kind of taking Tate out of the play here. Um, we might have Bolden. We're gonna hold Riddick in actually, and we might have Ebron. Mm, threw it early. Had Ebron got felt a little pressure. Threw it early. Give it back to my defense. And you caused a lost yardage play. That's gonna feel good and look great in film. You'd be surprised. I, I've had it work a lot with the defense press because the pressing corner gets blocked early. Um, they don't call that, which they really should. Gets blocked early on that play. So. Right? Middle middle read has got to do that. To Bostic with a bad to read there. A a what happened? Where did Bostic go there? Anyone see that? What's Bostic reading? Oh, Bostic read the running back. Oh, that's a terrible read. Um, I I asked that I. I think it is. Oh, I think it's impact. I think it's impact block barking, not run block. Because it's outside of the tackle box. Oh, I tried to. No, I tried to swat at it. Oh, man. Today's receivers in the NFL, they're the complete package nowadays. We know they can run, we know they can catch, but they have those big frames now. So oftentimes they just out physical guys downfield. Man, I thought we had that I thought we had that covered. That's just a nice play. Shift together here from the D-line. Bridgewater now. His pass caught at the four. 
They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that'll bring up a second and goal. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types All right, of we're going to we're going to send the heat game. on the outside here. Well. I got a feeling Peterson is probably going to get this ball. Call that Glover Quinn, big tackle. Close to the goal line, but not quite in. Who's hurt? Who was hurt? I don't know who was hurt, but. We're going to blitz this. Here on third and goal from the one. They'll run for it with Peterson. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of a full three They're going for it? And it brings up fourth down. Nice work, Carl. Bump my fist. Can you score? Oh, I was going to fist you. Thanks for the follow, dude. Wait a second. I feel like that's a troll. <laughs> I feel like you're trolling me. It's okay. I don't mind. They're running this. Where are they going? Or they're passing. They're passing it. Where are they going here? No! Yeah, big play! Big play! I saw like three guys lined up back there and got worried. Because I jumped back and forth. Was it Diggs or Slay? Oh, it was Smith. Nice. Huge play. That is big, boys. Wow. Yeah, you guys can backseat. You guys can backseat quarterback the uh, the computer this time. I wanted to break that wide, but Burton, man, I've got to get a better fullback in there. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, Glover keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's, That's gonna hurt. Football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're gonna see. Four verts of the aggro catches aren't that bad anymore. Six, seven, eight, nine, man, this is a bad idea. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And the play clock's running down. Again, it's a duel. And they'll hit him for a loss. As yeah, I can't give her a toss in the end zone. They lost two there. And it's third down. When I, watch I am, however, going to go for a DNA halfback base in the end zone. Tackle, because that is a very difficult job. I'm trying to quick base out of here. Against a really good defensive end. I can't draw because again I'm in the I'm actually in the end zone so I can't run a draw here. Alright, just give me some room to punt the ball away. We're good. Ran some more time off the clock. Where is that guy going? Okay. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. First kick, forty. Oh, he missed the block. Smith got around the block. Nice. Good coverage. There we go. Too conservative. You're out of your, you're out of your mind, Markin. Because if I don't get it, then I'm on the two yard line punting. I'm on the two yard line punting. You can't do that. Especially not in this game, where where blocking's a real thing. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A hey, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to the I got lucky. He actually had a step on the outside on the right. So let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow him to get What is the going end zone. on? We got to be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Peterson alone in the backfield. They're tearing me up down the field. Guys, can somebody watch Kyle Rudolph? It's like my middle linebacking crew just said, hey, you know what? Back down the field. I'm going to cover two carry this. Where's, where's Rudolph at? There we go. It's Rudolph and Treadwell. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And for one of the few times here Man. today, this run's not going to go. No, anywhere. Teddy's not due for a touchdown. The rookie Ashawn Robinson on the tackle. In 
of course, the quarterback in this situation All right. is realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. Can't wait. My new Astros come tomorrow, boys. So the Vikings, that new headset love. Although you probably won't see half of them because, like, they're green right here. The ones that I'm getting, so they'll probably be gone on the green screen. I mean, they're going all in. They're going jumbo on me. I don't know if that's a great idea. I will say this. Where's Kyle Rudolph at? I'm watching Kyle Rudolph. I'm spotlighting Kyle Rudolph. All right, come on, boys. Fourth and seven. They got to go for, I mean, they've got three timeouts. You have to go for the field goal and kickoff, right? I'm going to give them this field goal. Fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This is what they should have done five minutes ago, or four minutes ago in the game. 25th career make over 50? So he is kicking off. Okay, good. Here we go. So they're going to try to use their timeouts. Ooh. All right, see you, Red Sox. Well, I don't know if they'd be up right now, Barking Cat, because remember, they would have had... They would have had problems on. Um, they wouldn't have had the field position. They would have started back on their own. Granted, their their passing offense has destroyed me. No, I don't like that. Reset it. Go back to the other side. Time out. All right, boys. Now, we need. We don't need to make them use all three timeouts. We need a first down here. Um, I'm not confident that I can stop them. So we're going to mesh here. Mesh because it's an easy pass. Um, or an easy pass for us to complete. Not necessarily for the first down. We need a completion here to make them waste the timeout. And a couple of yards. Okay. Four yards. The issue is I don't know. Like play call here, I don't know what we're going to do. Screen pass isn't going to work here. Completed pass on second down. Now it's third down as the defense looks for the stop. All right. My first read is Bolden. My second read is Ebron here. Tell me he did not fall down on the friggin' one. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. I think we can we can run it. Yep. Big game. Big game. Dude, if he if he fell with a yard short, I would have went nuts. I think he did. I think the roll is what got him there. And they'll indeed take a knee. Yeah, Ebron, you're right. Ebron was wide open, Capicom, but I needed to go short as I could with that. Guys, a 14-13 game. Went all Madden. Where's Bry Guy at? Come on, Bry Guy. I know you're still here. No, you're not. Nuts. It's unfortunate. 
victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one point victory and they'll lose a that time and that's going to lead to a third down boys what a big game for the detroit lions and the vikings all right we should, should run out first there we go DBs on third. 14 13 like win division out, win teams, boys no matter where they're predicted to finish talk about protecting your home turf they were able to do that here in this one similar to a tennis match right not letting them break your serve that way you hold on to it they got it done and they feel very good about that victory oh man i can't believe that whoo Yeah, they Treadwell and Kyle Rudolph stepped up in that second half. I, I don't know what exactly it was, but really got us. There's the Asiata run for the win or for the touchdown. Yeah, Ibram was middle too. Both the who, Julius. It was only one person. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Man, I don't know, I don't know how we did. Win for the Lions as we say so long. Let's see what we had here team stat wise. Um 457 3 to 6. I mean, they beat us on offense. They beat us. They beat the brakes off of us for the most part. We had a couple of nice punt returns. Three turnovers not going to work. I get trust Stafford a little too much. 0 for 2 in the in the red zone uh penalties three penalties apiece, and they beat me on there let's see what we had bridgewater had a great game i, I don't think stafford had a bad game um we did start to leave bridgewater open a little bit too much or give him too much to work with peterson beat us but towards the end we started to shut him down abdullah had a good game for us these four yard per carry is what matters for us uh treadwell big game rudolph i talked about it golden tate my man. Um, actually, I think Ebron had a couple big catches for us, too. Yeah. Blocking. A couple of pancakes there. Defensive. Let's see. Tackle-wise. The guy I controlled, Tavon Wilson. Love it. Um, sacks. Levy had one. No, Other than that, no sacks. Three interceptions for them. God, that hurts so much. Ashawn Robinson with a, with a defensive uh, pass defense. Nice. And Juwan Smith, who's... Our nickel, by the way. Yep, not gonna let, not gonna let Diggs or Treadwell get over the top. That's what my number one uh, strategy was there. So let's see what we have waiting for us after the game. Where is Dobson? There he is. He's at thirty-four thousand. I hope that's enough. There we go. Aaron Dobson, my man. No longer Dobson. Again, some more XP. We'll do that again at some point, though. Not right now. Devin Taylor is going to be a monster. All right, boys. That's going to be it for who's injured. Wait. Marvin Jones will be back in a week or so. Glover Quinn... Oh, that hurts so much. Where does seven weeks put him, though? Seven weeks puts him back in the playoffs, so I can't IR him. Okay. That'll work. That's fine. All right. So, yeah, that's where we're, that's where we're going to end up here. Um, Glover coming back for the playoffs. It's fine. Next week... We'll be back again 10 a.m. We will be streaming again tonight. Not Madden, but for the guys that like the Madden franchise, here's where we stand right now. Uh, the Bears, the Saints and Bears, I will play the Saints. I may play a bunch of these games this week and put them up on YouTube for you guys at the Operation Sports YouTube. That being said, I kind of want to get to this game right here. The Packers game, I want to end the season next week um, and get into the playoffs. So I'm going to try to get a bunch of these games done by then. Um, so until next time, I know the Bears are division game, Cavicom. That's the one I'm probably going to put on YouTube. Uh, I just don't want it to last too long. I want to get three or four seasons while we're while we're streaming every Sunday. So 
Um, so and I, and I don't know that I want to sim, just full out sim on stream. So, guys, thank you for stopping by. If you have not followed, follow up top there or on your mobile tap and follow. Until tonight, guys, somewhere between 7 and 7.30, follow and turn your notifications on. We will be streaming tonight. We'll be talking Hell in a Cell. We'll be talking um, Cubs. Cubs. Who the hell are the Cubs playing? Cubs Indians World Series possibly clinching tonight. NFL wrap-up. Boys, thank you for stopping by. Operation Sports, dedicated to sports gaming. Nice See you tonight, boys. Carl, oh, suspicious right. Thanks for the follow, dude. See you tonight.